Filum porifera. The filum porifera is formed by the animals that are commonly named sponges. They present a radial symmetry without true tissues. They lack a nervous, digestive, and circulatory system. There are more than 90,000 species, but the numbers increase every year, and just 150 of them live in fresh water, being in their majority living in ocean environment. All the cells are totipotent, what it means that the cells can change your type according to the needs. Historic the sessile nature of sponges and their amorphous way to grow up made the first naturalists believe that sponges were plants. Just in 1765, when their water streams were described, they were recognized as animals. The big naturalists from the final of the 18th century and beginning of the 19th century, Lamarck, Linnaeus, and Cuvier, classified them among zoophytes or polyps, considering them closer to Cnidarian Antozoa. Through the 19th century, the sponges were put together with Cnidarians, which was named Celenterata or Hagiata. Robert Edmund Grant, between 1826 and 1827, created the name Porifera, or the group of sponges, anatomy and type cells. Ostia. Channels leading to the interior through the mesohyl. And in most sponges, these are controlled by tube like porocytes that form closable inlet valves. Mesohyl. A jelly like substance made mainly of collagen and reinforced by a dense network of fibers also made of collagen. Spongio cell. The interior cavity of the sponge. Osculum means little mouth. It is in a excretoric structure in the living sponge, a large opening to the outside through which the current of water exits after passing through the spongo cell. There are 12 types of cells in sponges. Oanocytes cells with cylindrical or conical colors surrounding one flagellum per coanocyte. Porocytes Tubular cells with makeup of the pores of a sponge known as ostia. Pinacocytes Plate like cells which form a singularity external skin over all other parts of the mesohyl that are not covered by coanocytes. Lephocytes amoeb like cells that move slowly through the mesohyl and secret collagen fibers. Colencytes, another type of the collagen producing cell. Habidiferous, cells with secret polysaccharides that also form part of the mesohyl. Oocytes and spermatocytes are reproductive cells. Sclerocytes, cells with secret mineralized spicules, neurospines, that form the skeletons of many sponges and in some species provide some defense against predators. Spongocytes, cells which secrete a form of collagen that polymerizes into spongin, a thick fibrous material that stiffens the mesohyl. Myocytes, cells with conductive signals and cause parts of the animal to contract. Gris cells. Cells equivalent to an immune system. Archaeocytes or amebocytes. amoeba like cells which have important roles in feeding and in clearing debris that block the host. Body structures. The simplest body structures in sponges is a tube or vase shape known as asconoid, but this severely limits the size of animal. The body structure is characterized by a stalk like spongo cell surrounded by a single layer of coanocytes. If it simply scaled up, 
the ratio of its volume to surface area increases because surface increases as the square of length or width, while volume increases proportionally to the cube. The amount of tissue that needs food and oxygen is determined by the volume, but the pumping capacity that supplies food and oxygen depends on the area covered by conocytes. As conoid sponges seldom exceed 1 mm in diameter. Some sponges overcome this limitation by adopting the siconoid structure, in which the body wall is splitted. The inner pockets of the pleats are lined with quanocytes, which connect to the outer pockets of the pleats by ostia. This, increasing the number of quanocytes and NC in pumping capacity, enables siconoid sponges to grow up to a few centimeters in diameter. The leuconoid pattern boosts pumping capacity further by filling the interior almost completely with mesohyl that contains a network of chambers lined with quanocytes and connected to each other and to the water intakes and outlet by tubes. Leuconoid sponges grow to over 1 meter in diameter, and the fact that growth in any direction increases the number of quanocyte chambers enables them to take a wider range of forms. For example, encrusted sponges whose shapes follow those of the surface to which they attack. All freshwater and most shallow water marine sponges have leuconid bodies. The networks of water passages in glass sponges are similar to the leuconid structure. Syllabaid sponges have radially arranged quanocyte chambers, which do not open into the atrium. Instead, several quanocyte chambers open into a cavity lined by pinacocytes, which itself has an opening to the atrium. Solenoid sponges have an aquiferous system characterized by the presence of anastomosed and interconnected quanocyte tubes forming a mesh and a natrium with pinacocytes. Skeleton In zoology, a skeleton is any fairly rigid structure of an animal, irrespective of whether it has joints and irrespective of whether it is biomineralized. The mesohyl function as an endoskeleton in most sponges and is the only skeleton in soft sponges that includes hard surface such as rocks. More commonly, the mesohyl is stiffened by mineral spicules, by sponging fibers or both. Spicules, which are present in most but not all species, may be made of silica or calcium carbonate, and vary in shape from simple rods to three-dimensional stars, with up to six rays. Spicules are produced by sclerocyte cells and may be separated, connected by joints or fused. Some sponges also secrete exoskeletons that lie completely outside their organic components. For example, sclerosponges, hard sponges, have massive calcium carbonate exoskeleton, over which the organic matter forms a thin layer with quanocyte chambers in pits in the mineral. These exoskeletons are secreted by pinacocytes that form the animal's skins. Classification The phylum porifera is divided by four classes. Demospongi is the largest and most diverse class of the porifera. It unites sponges with silicious spicules, either mona axonic or tetraxonic, never triaxonic, and or with a skeleton of organic fibers or fibrillary collagen. Like in Exachitinellida, silicious spicules are divided into megasclerous, which strengthen the framework of the sponges, and microsclerous, with heavy virus functions, possibly defensive possibly supportive of soft tissues, but generally nuclear functions. Microsclerides are frequently more common in the outer regions of the sponges, 
and often surrounding aquiferous canals. Members of the class Homo scleromorpha also possess tetraxonic siliceous spicules, but they lack a subdivision in mega and microclades. Occasionally, the skeleton is absent. Examples Aplisina fistularis Nifates digitalis Espirastrela cocinia Calisponja aculeata Condrocladia lampa de globus Monâncora arbúscula Condrosia reniformis Esponja officinalis Espongila lacustres Acarnus eritacus Exactinelida Calid glass sponges are exclusively marine and mainly restricted to the hard and soft substrates in deeper waters 200 to 6000 meters Also they occasionally occur in shallows scuba accessible water such as uh, submarine caves in the Mediterranean or off the coast of British Columbia, where they form massive structures analogous to Mesozoic sponge reefs. They are colorful and highly variable in body shape, sac, vase, blade shape, composed of branching tubes, but never encrusted. Exactinelids are clearly distinct from other sponges in that their soft tissues are largely syncytial and their siliceous spicules have a triaxonic symmetry. The unusual properties of their spicules have recently attracted the attention of materials scientists. Iconic exactinelids include the Venus flower basket, which often encloses a pair of shrimps inside its body and was used as a bridal gift in ancient Japan. And Monohafis kuni, which anchors its body in the soft deep sea floor with a single giant, up to 3 meters long, spicule. To date, there are 600 described stent species, which certainly an underestimate of their actual diversity. Given their remote habitats and very small number of taxonomic experts for the group. Examples Yalonema spis Monohafis cuni Family Feronematide Euplectella aspergillum Staurocalyptus spis Family Uncinateride Homoscleromorpha The homoscleromorpha comprise a small group of marine porifera with unique features. Flagellated pinacocytes and a basement membrane leaning both conodermy and pinacodermy, oval to spherical conocyte chambers with large conocytes. The skeleton, if present, is composed of tetraxonic siliceous spicules with four equal rays, called caltrops, and derivatives showing reduced diodes, tri triodes, or proliferated rays, lophocaltrops. There is no differentiation between megalocalis and microscalis, and the spicules are usually small, 100 mm or less, not localized in a, any particular region. Most of the species are encrusting or cushion-shaped, and the color varies from cream to blue, violet, green, yellow, deep brown, orange, or red. They are often found in dark or semi-dark ecosystems, caves, overhangs, coralliginous substratum. Homoscleromorpha are generally located in shallow waters, but some species have been found below 100 meters. They have been perhaps overlooked in deep sea ecosystems due to their encrusting shape. Examples Oscarella lobularis, Corticium candelabrum, Plaquina jamaicensis, Placortes 
simplex, placortes, alicondrioides, oscarela, carmela, calcária. Calcarious sponges have a mineral skeleton composed entirely of calcium carbonate, consisting of three heavily linked or cemented diactine, triactine, tetractine, and or polyactino spicules, to which can be added a solid basal calcitic skeleton. The aquifer system ranges in complexity from the most simple, asconoid and siconoid, to a more complex, arranged, leuconoid. Living calcareous sponges are often delicate with thin coalescent tubes or may be urn-shaped. Some cave-dwelling species are stone. Most of the species are white or cream, but some species may be also red, yellow, or pink. Calcareous sponges are relatively small, measuring in millimeters or a few centimeters, however, in specially rich temperature stories. Siconciliatum can reach more than 50 cm in length and 3 cm in diameter. Pacific coral reefs may also harbor several large species such as Leuceta avocado and Pericarax heterorhaphis, which may reach 20 cm in height. In most textbooks, calcareous sponges are regarded as exclusively shallow water organisms. However, Calcareous sponges are repeatedly collected from Bachau and Abyssal zones in the North Atlantic as well as in the Southern Ocean. Knowledge of living calcareous sponges is fragmentary. The total number of described species represents only about 80% of, 80 of all described extant sponges. This is partially due to a bias in taxonomic effort and the common perception that calcareous sponges are difficult to identify. More recently, efforts have been made to better understand calcare diversity in several poorly studied biogeographical areas and in deep sea ecosystems. As an example, 67 species of Clatrina are now known, with 22 species described since 2000. Examples Clatrina Clatrus, Leuconia nivea, Leucozolenia eleanor, Leucozolenia variabilis, Clatrina lacunosa, Clatrina darvini, Arturia canariensis.